Hi, Kevin. Well, Kevin, the good news is that we are nearing the end of this storm and we had anywhere from an inch to two and a half inches of rain and up to seven inches of snow and uh, winds gusting to 58 miles an hour New London ledge. So uh, we had it all uh, today. All right, let's check out the latest weather alerts. A winter storm warning remains in effect for Tallinn and Wyndham counties until seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, other parts of the state are under a winter weather advisory that will be canceled uh, probably sooner than that as the storm is beginning to wind down. Here are some snowfall totals and again it's really the hills that got hit the hardest union according to dean seven inches jeff in staffordville of half a foot right on the button he said burlington six inches dave in bristol three inches joey and tallinn also had three inches of snow and in east hartford two inches of snow so a really a winter wonderland in tallinn this uh, picture was taken uh, by a joey cr this afternoon you could see the uh, pine branches heavily weighed by snow at one point in time we had over 10,000 customers without power in Connecticut. At last check, according to Eversource, about 7,500 customers are without power. And what a beautiful, uh, almost Christmassy scene in Tallinn. Now, this was also taken in Tallinn by uh, Bob Valley. So snowfall totals will range anywhere from 5 to 9 inches in the northeastern hills, 1 to 5 inches in other parts of the state. But in far western Connecticut, Fairfield County, along the shoreline, little or nothing so it's pretty much over you can see that we have a little bit of rain right on the uh, Rhode Island Connecticut border still snowing there and one little band of uh, heavier snow not far away from a Torrington but again the storm is winding down the storm center is now to the north of Cape Cod you could see that circulation right there that spin this is a very intense storm bringing with it a lot of precipitation as we well know so over Hartford uh, we have cloudy skies it might be raining a little bit it's 40 degrees though at one point when it was snowing it was 34 right now New Haven is 42 degrees and statewide temperatures range anywhere from the uh, mid 30s to the uh, lower 40s 42 in New Haven and Bridgeport 33 in Putnam 35 degrees in uh, Torrington and Waterbury. Your current temperature is 36. And with the northwest wind averaging 10 to 20 miles an hour, we have wind chills right now that range anywhere from 22 in Putnam to 34 in uh, New Haven and uh, Bridgeport. So it's windy and chilly. Futurecast shows that we'll have some lingering snow in northeastern Connecticut at 7 o'clock this evening. Otherwise, it's gone by midnight. And look at this tomorrow morning clear and as we go through the day tomorrow mostly sunny a much better day to get outside and get that christmas tree perhaps or put up some holiday decorations or just run some errands on your sunday as we go into a monday clear skies in the morning and i think we'll see uh, partly to mostly sunny skies during the course of the afternoon and this is only the beginning of a long stretch of quiet weather which we certainly uh, deserve so lows tonight will be in the 20s and low 30s we'll have to watch out for icy patches especially where it snowed and highs tomorrow only in the 30s and low 40s. We'll say Hartford 40, New Haven 42, but in the Litchfield Hills, mid 30s and oh, about to 39 degrees for a high in Willimantic. Here's your seven day forecast. A look at that long stretch of quiet weather. Tomorrow near 40, windy and cold, but sunny. Monday, partly sunny, 39. Tuesday could be a little bit colder. Some nighttime lows not too far away from 20, but we'll start to rebound on Wednesday. Highs in the 40s, and we could take a run at 50 on Thursday. We might see a little bit cooler weather on Friday, but still a nice skies, partly to mostly sunny. And next Saturday, that could be our next chance for a shower with a high of 52. So a long stretch of storm free weather and for the shoreline tomorrow, a windy, chilly day, but a sunny day and a high of 42.